what's up GQ? Um, I'm David Bummy. Um, for those that don't know, I'm a social media marketer, fashion designer, stylist, and an entre all round entrepreneur if you ask me. Today I'm gonna take you through the 10 things that I absolutely cannot live without. Let's go! Slimes. Number one thing I can't live without ever is my second phone. This is like an 11 Pro, and then oh, and then my main one is the 12 Max. The camera, and this is silly. The reason why is that I don't like too many people knowing my actual number. You know what I'm saying? So I had to get a second phone. Um, and it's like, oh, if some random person talking business as they do is asking for my number, I'm gonna just give them my side number, which you can't really contact me on. You know what I'm saying? Unless I actually actively go on it, you can't really call me on. I don't call anyone off this phone. Unless I don't know you, I'm going to give you this number. If I don't really want you to have my number, I'm going to give you this number. Do you know what I mean? Because you don't want strangers having your number. And I'm over the part. I used to change my number like every year. I can't be asked to do that. They charge you that like £30 as well. 30 quid, that's like five magnums. 10 mag. Like, bro, you know what I'm saying? That's literally almost 10 magnums. That's what I'd rather be spending my money on. So a second phone, I'll be real, is for me personally, is very, very essential. Can't live without it. Aye, Magnum. Big dripper, Magnum sipper. I'll be deadly on this right now. I'm on like my third one. Put that one in the bin. I'm on my third one. I might as well, for the rest of this video, crack one open. Listen, I go for about five, six Magnums a day. I can't lie, I wouldn't call myself an alcoholic though because I can't sit down and just crack open a bottle of vodka and drink like a single dad. This is this to me tastes like juice. I genuinely enjoy this drink. It just happens to have alcohol in it. And it's my favourite juice. And you know, it puts you on a little nice little wave, good vibes all around. Kids under 18 even. I would not recommend you be drinking five, six magnums a day. Um, at most, maybe if you're 16, have like one, got on a little, you know, your kids raves. I don't know what your kids do these days. You lot seem to have grown up real quick, but this drink, I can't live without it. I drink it absolutely every single day. Um, probably more magnum than water, really and truly. I need to sort myself out because I don't want to have a kidney failure. Is it kidney? No, liver failure at the age of 20. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> My number three essential item, I can't lie, is snus. If you don't know, snus is snus are like tobacco pouches, and it's like it's an alternative to smoking. But I don't smoke. I don't do weed. I don't do any of that. I don't get high. I feel like from a lot of weed smokers that I talk to, they smoke to get away, because they need to sleep, because they're depressed. They can't, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not depressed. I'm quite a very happy individual. Uh, mental health is priceless, so it's a blessing from God that I'm so content always, no matter what. So I don't need to smoke. But it's like, this one's the dead one. Usually I'll have Siberia, but uh, I couldn't get my hands on it today at least. Um, so snus it, it's like, it gives you, you almost like a nicotine rush, you could call it. And, um, it, it lasts like maybe 10 to 20 minutes, it depends how thing my tolerance for it has gone quite up because I, I go through about a pot a day and I've got to put two in at once but um, yeah I can't lie I wouldn't really recommend anyone do it if you don't, if you don't have to but um, if you want to quit smoking, I never smoke but I heard this is to quit smoking, if you want to quit smoking yeah I'd recommend grab snus, uh, it will be very beneficial and I'll if you really need to smoke I'd recommend you do this instead of smoking I would I, I'm, I don't think I'll ever smoke um, never cigarettes and I don't think I'll ever really smoke weed I don't I don't like I heard that sometimes you get uncontrollable highs and I don't like not being in control of my body um, therefore I'll I'm not a smoker I'll, I'll be so deadly honest so yeah, snus can't live without it. I'll quit it one day very soon. Four is fitted new era caps. 
Uh, the major reason why I got a flipping have so many of these is because one, I lose them all the time. The amount of hats I lost, even in Dubai, I lost like two, three hats. Jet skiing, water gliding, shit like that. Um, and it's, I have to carry a bunch of me then buy my, uh, at the same time to be lucky and, you know, no cap. Haha, <laughs> pardon the fucking pun. Um, secondly, I can't be up, but my, my barber's literally on the other side of the city to me at this moment in time at least so i can't just get a trim any time so if i can't get my weekly trims bloody hell slap on a, my do-rag so i've got a trim right now i don't know why i'm wearing it but on an average day let's say i can't get a trim i just slap on a hat and you know i've got like every single bloody color so it always match my fit so it's even drippier than the flipping trim the hat these fitted hats are an essential for me. They're flipping drip as well. Um, I'll be deadly honest, I initially started wearing them when I saw them on King Von like a year or two ago. And from there, it's like, yo, these shits really be dripping. You got a fucking hat, color wave, brim color for every flipping wave. Number five is simply cash. Um, these are the old knots as well, so... Um, for a range of reasons, man can't even go to the bank with them. Do you know what I mean? And uh, so I just got to go abroad and just spend it all. Uh, really intrigued, I got to spend it all in like the next month. Cause like, I know like, cause it's the old notes. It's only like three, four, four, five K. No, three, four K only. So it's nothing crazy anyway. Um, but uh, got to have cash on you. So shit, don't really get processed from my account. I don't have a crazy expenditure if I got cash to spend. And over there in foreign countries, they'll take any cash you got, you know what I'm saying? They're happy to take it. So, as any flipping human being. Six is books. I can't travel or no more or less go on any long journey or I can't go a prolonged period of time without a book. From a young age, I've always been far more interested in reading than video games and stuff. Like even now, like even now, I'm not even a gamer and shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a gamer at all. I prefer to read. I love to read. Um, my favorite kind of books are financial literacy books. I feel like that's what put me ahead of the curve in front of a lot of my age mates. A lot of my... Uh, you know, 18 to 21 year olds love to go on Twitter and repost quotes and argue and fake outrage and, you know, repost relationship quotes. I generally on my day, average day to day, um, I just enjoy reading really and truly. It just puts me at peace, um, educates me, trains the mind quite a lot as well. So your mind's always kind of not on, not to say it's not on relax mode, but it's almost putting your mind instantly into grind mode, you know what I mean? Um, I'd really recommend people read. I know a lot of people say they don't like to read, um, but you know, it's a, I've always loved it, so it's far easier than said than done for me particularly. But I'd really honestly recommend read certain books such as Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Think and Grow Rich, The Four Hour Work Week. After reading those books, you have a very different outlook on life, not just life, but money. So yeah, books, financial literacy books are a thing that I cannot live without. And obviously over here I got my bookmark, which is 10 dirham. That's about two pound geezer. About two pound geezer, so don't think I'm flexing. That's about two British pound, 10 dirham I think it is. Yeah. And that's number seven or eight on the list of shit I can't live with that. I'm not gonna go too into detail, but when I read books, I don't necessarily read books. I study books, I've got a highlight, um, stick note, and really search books, always got a pen with me, always got a highlight with me in the bag. You know what I'm saying? If I got ops and you catch me in London, I won't have no money on me, I won't have no jewels. You might get a highlighter and a pen because that's what I always have on me <laughs> when making a journey. Do you know what I mean? I think it's very important to always train your mind and educate yourself. I think personally, it's all fun and games, uh, looking rich, um, but do you know how to distribute the wealth that you have, the money that you have, the, regardless if you just have one source of income and a job, educate yourself on how you can turn one into two and make sure you master a lot of things 
because you can be a tradesman of many but a master of none and that's completely useless because if you're you know a master of none you can never really reach full potential in any sort of field so i'd really recommend if you're reading a lot of books have a notebook with you at all times and i always got to have a book and a notebook with me and if i'm if i have a book and a notebook i won't even read because i'll be missing out on vital information and you know how the brain works you can't instantly process certain bits of information so i'd always recommend if you've got a book a financial literary book app especially have a notepad with you so you can take down crucial notes things that catch your mind things that you essentially don't understand but wish you understood and you can go back home and research it so i wouldn't say read books really study books very important uh, sorry i sound like a bit of like a nerd in it but that's my overlook and that's what i can't live without number eight my beautiful son hush puppy i can't go nowhere without him initially initially i took him everywhere i can't take him everywhere as much now because coronavirus guidelines they're a bit skeptical that i'm bringing in drugs because obviously what's a grown man with a beard doing with a with a, with a kid um what, what's it doing in a suitcase but i love him man as much as i can bring him along with me i'll bring along he's as an essential of mine forever has to cash puppy georgia smith take care of his son but obviously i found a new wife Paige now serious woman taking care of her son as well love him number nine is my macbook um if i've got to upload a youtube video making content any business emails or anything like that um i, I make sure I have my MacBook on me always. That's a trap. That's a anywhere I go. Not not anywhere in London, but if I'm traveling abroad, I will make sure my MacBook is with me. This the MacBook has to be with me at all bloody times when I'm traveling abroad. Cause you know, do you know what I mean? And more emails, messages at all times. So it's important for me. And when I'm on my phone, I don't think I can fo focus as affectionately. And I've got different emails and stuff connected to my MacBook compared to my iPhone um, and my work phone. So it's all different, all different areas, but it kind of breaks down a lot of things which need to be broken down because too much at once just overloads your mind and that's not all we want in the business environment. And my last probably thing, I ain't even got nothing else. You know what I'm saying? It's probably God, you know what I'm saying? God obviously, God is over religion you are. Your God is probably the answer and solution to every problem you've ever had. You ever had, you ever have like, a mission in your life where obviously you're going through something and then you open just a random bible verse and it just relates so well to your situation you know what i'm saying i know i'm not the only one so that just the last thing i can't live without is, is god for sure as 99 percent of hopefully other people can't so at the end of the day that's that's literally i'm not the most interesting person as you probably thought i was i ain't got no crazy items ain't got no spaceships or some shit but slimes if you enjoy videos like this obviously this was a gq parody you know what i'm saying this ain't i'm not famous enough i'm not famous at all i'm not a celeb to be on actual gq maybe one day very soon you might have different items i might be you know carrying glocks or or hundred thousand pound watches you know what i'm saying um but if you enjoy videos like this or any other kind of parodies of major things that you like let me know and i will 100 percent be down to do it in the comments let me know but as i said take care and we'll see you on thursday videos every sunday and thursday unless i'm drunk with an insta bad b page i'm not cheating and let me know drop a like comment please share this to your friend i know they ain't got too much drip so if they want to go on a place where they can learn drip this is the channel for your friend i'll see you very soon